Hey, hello. Somebody asked me, is Java the new COBOL? That's an interesting question. So if you don't know, COBOL is the language, the programming language of mainframes. And uh, mainframes have been around, I guess, since the 60s now. And you would be surprised how many huge institutions, a lot of banks, government institutions, that still run on old 40, 50 year old mainframe computer systems, and they are programmed with COBOL. Now, the thing with COBOL is even though it's ancient and old, and there's, and as far as I know, there's no new development in COBOL, but in terms of the language and so forth, maybe there is, but I haven't looked into it, but there's still COBOL jobs out there, and what's happening is all the COBOL programmers are all retiring, so they need COBOL programmers. So I'm not saying go out and do COBOL because it's its own thing, but there is an opportunity there. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is Java, which was invented in 1995. I was one of the first Java developers in the world, by the way. Uh, is Java now the new COBOL? Meaning, are the bulk of the Java jobs working on maintaining old systems that maybe 10, 20, 25 years old systems. Is that where you're going to find most of your Java jobs? Unlike, let's say, in the uh, JavaScript world, where you're going to have a lot of new stuff that's coming out, and the Swift world, a lot of new stuff. Fact of the matter is, there is still a lot of new development in Java, no question about that, but much less than, I would, I would guess, much less than 15 years, old, 15 years ago, simply because a lot of these systems have been built now for these large organizations. Java typically is used to build systems for larger companies, typically. I know some people are going to want to comment, oh, I work for a company that uses Java. Yes, there are small companies that still use Java. But if you're a small company, it'd probably be wise not to use Java. And I love Java, but it's just so verbose, so slow to code in, even though Java code is great. Uh, yeah, it's just too slow to code in. It runs fast, though. Anyway, is Java the new COBOL? In a sense, yes, but it's not as advanced. Like, COBOL is really a super, super, super legacy, meaning legacy meaning old, working on old systems, updating them, keeping them alive for a few more years. Uh, Java has a certain amount of that now, for sure. Typical Java jobs, if you look at them, they're gonna be looking, you're gonna be working on older systems where they're gonna be adding new modules to existing systems and so forth. So that means working for medium sized or large sized organizations, which means dealing with the lifestyle of working for a larger company. Understand that lifestyle. It is very different than working for a small business or a startup. So what is the large organization lifestyle? It's bureaucratic. It's bureaucratic. Meetings, showing up at time, dress codes. Uh, you may work on a project where you're working on the project for one or two years. So your job for two years may be to work on one sub system within a very large uh, a very large uh, piece of software. That's the game. Whereas if you go work for a small company startup or a startup, they are much more dynamic. One week you're working on an authentication system, one week you're working on a, a, a web front end, and next week you're doing some Python scripting. It's much more uh, dynamic. Some people prefer uh, the former, where you work, work for a large organization where you're spending two years on the help file system. Uh, other people prefer the more uh, rough and tumble, dyma dynamic, small business environment where you may wear many hats, you may do many different things. Depends on what you want. So yeah, I would say Java is becoming more and more, co more and more koboldish. Uh, it doesn't mean there's no jobs, plenty of jobs in the Java world. It's just you have to understand what you're getting into in terms of the, uh, the, the personality of the jobs, if you will. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Um, yeah, should you learn Java? There's nothing wrong with learning Java. Understand, though, the type of work that you're going to get yourself into. Although some people still do Android work with Java, but Kotlin is preferred now by even Google says that, and they control Android. Even if you learn Java and you decide six months later, a year later, it's not for you, it's not a waste of time. You cannot learn a wrong programming language, except for Ruby. You cannot learn a wrong programming language because all the skills you pick up in Java are 100% transferable to C Sharp, to PHP, to JavaScript, to TypeScript. It's not a big deal. So you can't make a wrong decision. Don't 
spend too much time in an al- and put yourself into analysis, par- paralysis, trying to figure out what language to learn. Like, oh my God, am I going to choose the wrong language? Not possible. Not possible. So you like Java, learn Java. If you can't find jobs in Java, then you'll be able to learn JavaScript in a couple of days. Boop. Right? Because the concepts are the same. Especially when you look at C Sharp, Java, JavaScript, PHP to a certain extent, TypeScript, they're in C, C++. They're all in the C family of languages. So they're very, very similar, even in, down to the code itself. All right. I hope you found that useful. I'm Uncle Steph. I mentor people in the waves of code and getting jobs and advancing their careers and starting businesses and freelancing. Everything I teach, by the way, is based on personal experience. Personal. All right. We'll talk soon. Cheers. Oh, hold on. Code long and profit. Thank you.